so don't make these three type of mistakes let's discuss that what are these three mistakes okay. doesn't matter right i don't care if you have these kind of attitude trust me you are the next person who is going to get fired you will be fired too if you don't do this what are the three mistakes that you are doing which basically can get you to lose your job immediately okay this is one of the major problem that i have seen with student and this is a very common pattern guys i am in a discussion with lot of people lot of students who are basically making these three mistakes very maximum number of time and i have seen them they getting fired basically they are told to resign right immediately that i have seen it multiple times right so don't make these three type of mistakes let's discuss that what are these three mistakes okay mistake number 1 you don't talk to your manager and your manager has a very limited amount of knowledge what you are doing it is a very important point that you need to know guys please understand i been to industry for more than 12 years and maximum time since i am also a manager i know right i am basically handling more than 20 plus people right now and this is what exactly i want to know so all the people where who are working under me right what exactly i have seen is that the people who are getting the good ratings right they always talk to me almost like almost like two times per week two times this is like minimum that i am talking about okay they they always talk to me talk to me basically means they will say that okay promoter we are facing this kind of issue promoter we are facing this kind of issue how do we resolve they basically come up and discuss they let me know about what they are working on then what exactly they want to basically do in future or upcoming months or upcoming weeks that's the most important thing but i'll tell you what mistake you are making okay the people who are into a low rating zone where i know these people will get fired if they don't improve first of all the mistake number 1 they said they don't talk to me very very well they don't talk to their manager also right very well it means they don't communicate exact well what exactly they are doing you have to guys this is one of the important thing that you have to talk to your manager don't think like that your manager we will get pissed off right or he will be like okay you always come to me okay no managers are they, if they are pissed off they will let you know second important point is that they never get pissed off if you have some problem you are genuinely coming to them and asking for a solution right so that is the most important thing so do you have a coding fear and you think that okay java is something which is very difficult to learn then python is exactly the language where you can start your automation journey guys if you are a fresher manual tester who wants to jump into the automation automation is a need of the ir so make sure that you are becoming an automation and you are learning and adding the skills related to automation into your profile so job ready automation tester with python is basically getting started where we are going to cover python api testing and selenium in the 3 months of span we, i am assuming that you are basically a beginner total beginner and you are we are going to crack with the live projects okay check out the link below which is how to become a job ready automation tester all right in 3 months I'll see you. Learning number one to remove the first point, which is that talk to your manager at minimum times, which is two times or three times per week. This is very very important. You can have a very normal conversation also. Hi, you are doing what you are doing. Normal conversation also works. And just let them know in the end that what exactly you have done. What I used to do was that I used to email. right every 3 days after 4 days right i used to email to my manager right okay these are the tasks that i have done and what i am working on in the future but exactly you can do is that nowadays we have slack we have microsoft teams right so in the end what you can do is there is uh, on the chat what you can do is just mention that okay these are the three things or four things that i have worked on and these are the things that i am planning on let them know this is the most important thing if you make this mistake where your manager doesn't know about it what exactly will happen is that your chances of getting fired and get a low rating will be high okay so please remove this second important point second important mistake that you are doing is not becoming an important contributor right this is very very important okay what i have seen is that people becomes a optional in the team which means that for example suppose i am the only qa in in the team right i am doing some work right and suppose now there is a new people new person as a qa hire right so both of us are working together but visibility of that person is high in the team so what exactly will happen is this team will think that okay this person which is another person is working high and this person is working low even though you are basically making the same efforts you are the person who's creating test plan everything right so let everyone know that okay you are also doing everything and increase your visibility increase your contribution right which is very very important in this case so you you know what what are the hacks i used to do for example suppose we have to create a excel sheet for test cases i was the person with my id it should be created everyone should see that in the chat i will add a screen 
screenshot and I will ping other people to add test cases there. This is how I have increased my visibility. Another thing that you can do is if you're starting any automation project, right? What you need to do, just create a repository with your name or something, for example, and any, any automation name and just tell them that, okay, guys, I have started this repository. Please contribute to this. The person who's basically contributing more or who's basically taking a lead gets the more visibility. That's the most important point that you need to understand, right? So become a proactive and take a lead. That's the way, okay? It doesn't matter if you have three years experience, four years experience, five year, two year, one year, doesn't matter. Take a lead. You will be the first person that your manager, your team should know that, okay, promote, start doing this. Okay, let's do this, right? This is what the most important point you need to handle, right? The third important point is not having a proactiveness. This is what I have told you, right? So third point is very similar to second point, but proactiveness is something that I have learned very, very well from my one of my manager, or you can say mentor. Proactiveness basically means that whatever meeting is happening, whatever the task which is going to allocate to you, whatever, even it doesn't even matter. You have to prepare well before moving to that uh, meeting, moving, starting that product. You have to be aware about them. You should be very excited, right? You you should be very well uh, well versed you should be taking more and more lead right okay we will be doing this we will try to contribute more add the points this is all the things are basically related to proactiveness if you start showing these kind of attributes right people will definitely recognize that and team will know that this is Pramod is a really a good person or uh, he's a very active person who's contributing and he wants to deliver a good product right so if you start doing this this is the attribute that i have seen who the people who get higher rating but in reverse if you are that okay uh, you are just hiding everything let it go right okay it doesn't matter right i don't care if you have these kind of attitude trust me you are the next person who is going to get fired okay so pay attention these are the three important points that i have learned i hope this helps let me know which one is your favorite and what are the different other points that you think put them into the comment right what mistakes you are making which will basically get you fired right let's discuss this this is a very important feature and this is a very very important thing that, that we should everyone know right thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye